I guess I really wanted to be a coach um, because when I was younger and I sort of was involved in Auskick, I didn't really have anywhere for me to go and I knew being so new to women's footy, there might be girls that feel pretty similar. Um, and I think just getting involved and being able to give back for those that really want, I guess, a common goal of, of making women's footy a big thing is a big motivation of why I, I got into coaching. It's been pretty fun, I guess. You sort of, when you take on a team, it doesn't matter where, you probably only have anywhere between one to five girls that have ever played. So you're coming in with a, a bunch of girls that probably no idea what they're really doing. So yeah, it's fun because you get to teach them new ways and yeah, it, it's been fun. Challenges would be, especially for females, I think, one is they're really hesitant in terms of protection um, and I guess a little bit scared. It is a contact sport, but because they're, they're probably not conditioned to it the way that boys are, haven't grown up with it, they're a little bit apprehensive. Um, so that's one of the challenges is trying to tell them that, you know, if you're going to go for that footy, like don't hesitate. When you hesitate, that's when you're going to get hurt. And, and just getting them, I guess, used to being more confident and backing themselves. The only other real challenge is, you know, they might be 14, 15 years old and they've had brothers that have played and, and they'll just have a kick around with the footy and probably technique. They've not been taught a certain way and trying to get them out of a habit is, is really challenging. A win's always rewarding, but um, it's when, like, a girl takes a mark and, you know, has a kick and it hits a target or anything like that and just seeing the smile on their face and, and knowing that they've improved, that's the most rewarding part for me. And seeing the women and girls game grow so much so quickly, how have you found that being a female coach oh, and player? Amazing. Um, I guess a good example is for me, last year I had about 13 girls pre-round one and I thought, we might not even get a team here. And then having in pre-season 25 girls show up and having more saying, oh, I want to play. And so there's a lot more coming through the system. Um, so we're not finding falling short. And it's good for communities as well because you're not having teams fold because there is so much interest in the sport. As a player, it's, it's exactly the same. You know, you'll, you'll play a game and then you'll have a chat to, to a mate about it and then all of a sudden they want to play. So yeah, I think it's really exciting. And talk us through the process of putting your hand up to coach at interleague level. Daunting. <laughs> and it's it's completely different. It's that little bit more serious and I guess elite. So yeah, putting my hand up and, and being like, ooh, this is this is full on, like this is this is real, the real deal. Um, yeah, daunting, but you know, putting your hand up and because it is new um, and female footy is still still growing, um, it's good for me because I get to grow with the game as well. So getting the girls together, that's probably the hardest thing. I think we had two or three training sessions before we had to pick the squad, which is tough, especially when you've probably never seen half of the girls play. Um, so all we could really do was do some very basic skill stuff and then and then throw them into a game because that's the only way you're going to see how they play. So for those two trainings, yeah, we did a lot of practice matches, just moving girls up and down the ground, seeing how versatile they were and then just picking them from there. We had a pretty good game on Saturday and I think that really pumped them up. Um, we're a little bit flat because we'd had a loss the week before, but first game you're always going to have those nerves. Uh, but yeah, they came out and they were pretty pumped from the win, but you know, I did say to them, you know, we can't go out there complacent. Like, yeah, we've got to win under a belt, but so have they, and we don't know what they're like. So we still need to go out with that same energy. Are you ready? We are Wednesday! Teamwork is massive. Um, I say to the girls a lot, you know, if you're finding that you're not really getting much of a touch, but neither is your opponent, well, then you're doing something right. So, you know, looking for the shepherds, the bumps, the talking, especially when the footy's in the air, we've found that you know, there's a few girls going off for a contest, but they're not talking, and that's when we're spoiling it. So, but teamwork overall is is the important thing. What I wanted the girls to take out of the experience was to have fun is the most important thing. I think girls, not just in footy, but I've witnessed it in a lot of sport, are really hard on themselves. Um, and footy is a team sport, but it's a big team. There's 18 people on the ground, you know, 24 on that team. Um, so sometimes you don't feel 
maybe you're doing your role, but that's where I just said to them that you need to go out there and if, if you've given everything you can give, that's all I can ask for as a coach. And as long as they're having fun, you don't want anyone to walk away from the experience not having enjoyed it. Uh, that was one of the main things. And the other one was just development. So we had a couple of girls, and, and you get it in every side, I'm sure, that 80% of the girls want to play in the middle of the forward. And everyone sort of likes to steer clear from the back line because everyone wants a touch. But, you know, just saying to them that the more versatile you are, the further you can go. And, and just saying to the girls, if you want to have a try at a different position, let us know, we'll help you. They were probably the two messages, just development and, and I guess having fun. Yeah, I was so proud. Like They just did everything I asked. There was nobody like questioned why or, you know, why do we have to do this? They just did it. And yeah, I, that, I couldn't be more proud of that. It is tough and the pressure on coaches is tough as well. I suppose as well, if you don't perform, everyone's the same. They're always hard on themselves, but you know, you can only do so much with what you've got. You've just got to make sure that you're prepared, I think. So I just, yeah, organisation is the thing, it's what I do. It's important as well, not just to be their coach, but to be someone that they can sort of come to and if they have any queries, not just footy, but I guess in life, um, just to be an extra role model. Um, and because I guess that I am a female and I'm just going through women's footy just like they are, I can sort of relate a little bit more to them. And you're also a player. How have you found playing this year? Yeah, it's been good. Um, it's been a lot different to what I thought it would be. Um, a lot rough, well, not rougher, but really full on. Um, everyone just wants the footy and that's good. And, and that will change and the congestion stuff will sort of, you know, ease out over the years. But it, it's been so much fun, you know, seeing a team of you know women that have never played for but have always wanted to and then just just getting a kick is so exciting um, but it just opens up another social avenue as well like and a new circle of friends and yeah I think it's really awesome I've loved it and, and what would you say to those people that perhaps aren't so open to women's footy um, I think give it a chance like the first couple years you know it, it's it is behind the men's AFL at the moment but you know you got to remember that we've only just started and if you watch the women's footy now yes it's a little bit congested and it's scrappy and and that will change but come and watch a you know under 15s game like the quality of footy is so much different because these girls have played since they've been younger and as they get older and go up into the system the quality of the game will improve but for people that aren't all for it you've just got to give it a chance I'd love, I want to coach long term, that's that's my goal um, and I want to stick with with girls for now and, and watch it go through the system and, and see it, you know, evolve, um, that's my goal. Uh, I'd like to coach probably more, more senior down the track. Um, as for playing, I, I think I'll probably just stick to playing socially, um, I'm pretty injury prone so I uh, might just have to lay off on that one, but it's good for me from a coaching perspective because I can see it from a player's point of view. Previously I haven't had that opportunity so um, yeah, playing, I'll, I'll continue to play and that's my goal just locally but coaching wise I, I'd love to move up I guess through the ranks and hopefully more senior one day.